guys hi happy friday welcome to your um short friday feel good pilates session um something that is hopefully going to set you up for the weekend if you are living in scotland which is where this is being filmed i'm in edinburgh it is currently thundering and lightning so i am a definitely definitely sorry in need of something to set me up for something because it's meant to be like this for the whole weekend so uh, let's smile through it let's move through it and um let's have a little bit of um feel good vibes on in the background so join me on the mat my invisible mat and come into four point kneeling so we're looking for that nice organized spine knees under hips wrists are under our shoulders and we are pressing the mat away so when I say press the mat away, what I mean is don't sink in the shoulders, yeah? So don't let the shoulder blades kind of slide together. We fill that space between the shoulder blades. So think of pressing into the hands to lift the breastbone away from the mat and into the backs of the shoulders. So we're nice and kind of engaged there. And then we're drawing our belly in and up away from the mat. So take a couple of breaths there just to engage or just to make friends with your core. So breathing in into the ribs just have a nice long smooth exhale and as you exhale draw your belly button in towards your spine keep looking down between the two hands so we've got our nice neutral position of the neck and feel your abdominals start to kind of wrap around and um, give you that little corset of support that uh, we know so well in Pilates yeah so breathing in one more fill into the sides and backs of the ribs and then exhale. Drawing those abdominals up and away from the floor. Good, beautiful. From there, you're going to take one leg back behind you in a nice straight line. Go with whichever one you want. I'm going to go with my right. And then opposite arm into a T position. So in line with the shoulder, you're going to just open up through the side body. So take that arm back, take a little rotation through the ribs. See if you can spin and keep the crown of the head lengthening forward. Draw those calves in. It's a lovely little kind of twist and open from the body. The middle, upper, mid back. And then you're going to come back to your start position. Good. So we're going to do that one more time. Foot stays in contact with the floor the whole time. You've got this. Arm out to the side. Breathing and rotating. Exhale. See if you can twist just a little bit further. Keep drawing that belly button in. Keep pressing the floor away. Loop to your hand if you can. And all the way back, bring the hand down. Beautiful, good. Let's go on the other side. Yes, leg back. Keep it in contact with the floor. Arm out to the side, press. The arm back, open up through the sides. And you might find I definitely have a lot more range of movement in that side of my body. Good, breathing in. Exhale, same thing, draw those abs up, press them that way. Arm into a T and then just open up, rotate. Beautiful work. Loop to the hand. Scoop the belly. Arm back to T. All the way down. Good. Beautiful. From there, we're going to go into a little thread the needle. So palm up to face you. Another little twist, but we're going to take it low. Reach the hand away. Scoop those abs up. So one arm to press up. Good. Breathing in. Just take it to where you can. Like if you're new, you just take a tiny little soft bend in that elbow. And if you just get to here, it's all good. We're always at different stages in our practice. Beautiful. Good. From there, we're going to do a little hovering, um, hovering uh, uh, tabletop. Four point kneeling. So good. Untuck your back toes. I'm losing my words now. I'm so excited. It's Friday. So untuck your back toes. Press into the mat and then you're just going to scoop those abs and just fold the knees like a little kind of inch of the mat. So press them down, just build a little bit of heat. Scooping the abdominals up and away, really press into the hands. Whoa, I feel it now. Hold it here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. And down, press your bum back to your heels. A little child's pose, a little rest position we call this in Pilates when we're in yoga, it would be child's pose. Good. So here, breathe into the ribs, sides and backs. That feels good. Exhale. One more. Exhale. 
beautiful then from there come back up you're going to take a little side bend so bring your arms to uh, your arms your legs into a little 90 90 position so we have one shin parallel to the front one to the side we're going to reach up and over towards the leg that's at the side so have your hands here be nice and neutral so let your sit bones just sink down just take always take a little minute to um, organize your spine on the mat there's never any rush to get there then lengthen up to the crown of the head puff the chest so the ribs are lifted off the chest float one arm up and then just take a wee side bend good so up and out the waist keep thinking of this sit bone heading down as you lengthen and lift up so don't let the sit bone lift with you just kind of be nice and soft for the shoulder it will lift up a little bit but don't excessively pull it up towards your ear all these things to think about press the arm down a little counter stretch here Ooh, I'm feeling good already legs in front just a little 1990 sort of hip rotation so just bring the knees to drop and then just bring the knees to drop the other way and if you turn the torso ribs to start facing the knee we'll get a little rotation working oh yeah that's it good it's nice now good just keeping up keep thinking of going upwards as you move so we always got our nice tall spine you know Pilates is so good for our posture so good for creating that nice long line in the spine good last one and then we're going to set our legs up to take our little mermaid in the opposite direction so I'm just going to think there what way I was going good so grind those sit bones down and then you're going to lift up and stretch to the side so good so watch you don't kind of tuck or tilt the tailbone try and keep it heading release it heading straight down with the sit bones draw those abs in keep nice and lifted if you can so the challenge long through both sides beautiful nice and open now through the sides of the body press that arm down gorgeous we're going to come in to take a little roll back so come onto your bum you're going to sit up nice and tall on your sit bones so I often pull the flesh out of underneath my bum so I can really feel my sit bones now underneath me. I've got quite a peachy bum. <laughs> oh, let's not even go there. Good. So those are the feet on the ground. Now, if you're a kind of Pilates pro, if you've been doing it for a while, you can have your arms lengthened in front of you. So they're just in line with the shoulder. Um, or if you are kind of new and you're still building strength, then just pop your hands behind your thighs and you can use them as a little bit of added support here. We're going to work the, abdominal, the abdominals. So again, find your nice tall seat, lift your breastbone, engage your upper back. Nice breath in as you exhale, scoop the belly, tuck your tailbone underneath of you and then you're just rolling away gently using those abdominals to control you from your thighs. Yeah, And if you're using your arms, try and get the arms to straight or work to range it feels right for you and you may have your hands here in which case it's all good I knee just drops down to the pubic bone exhale and you're going to roll back up you'll feel yourself roll over your sit bones and then you just lengthen back up on the crown of the head uh, you know the crown of the head lengthen back up sorry good so we're going to do let's do three more like that really working out breathing in you've got it now exhale tuck the tailbone rolling away from the thighs the shoulders relaxed Looking down, nice long spine, good. So abdominals are scooping, we're breathing, look into the pubic bone, and then we just we'll lengthen back up. Good, two more breathing. Speed up a bit now, we've got the rhythm. <laughs> good. Crown of the head forward, over the sit bones, lengthen back up, last one, breathing in. Scoop away down, hold the position here, good. Those abdominals drawing back. So they're wrapping around. So you've got this lovely course of support. Crown of the head forward. Lengthen up nice and tall through the seat. We're going to roll back one more, but keep at a level where you can hold it. And we're just going to bring a little march in of the legs. A lot of work in the abs to stabilize. It's a really good one for building core strength. Breathe in. You've got it. Smile through it. Remember, it's Friday, even in the rain in Scotland. Good. Last little set now. Good. 
Beautiful. From there, hold position. You're going to roll all the way back. So see if you can put your spine down piece by piece by piece onto the mat. And once you get there, take the arms up and overhead, stretch the legs long and reach. So point your toes away, point the hands overhead. I'm like kind of the full, the full um, length here of my living room. Good. So breathe in here. We're coming into a roll up. Scoop the abdominals, a little soft point through the toes. You're going to bring the hands up, chin to chest, head, neck, upper mid back. Scoop those abs and see if you can roll up, reach forward, good. So scoop the abs as if you're kind of maybe rounding over a ball. So abdominals draw right back, come down into the thighs, take a little stretch. We're gonna do two more like that. Exhale as you come down. Big reach overhead, and then head, neck, good. You've got this. Nice stretch on the back. Line. Reach in. Last one. Head, neck. Here we go. Reach in. Forward. Good. Scoop those abs. So abs, ribs in, tucked in as you reach the crown of the head away. Beautiful, guys. This is looking good. Down you come. Bring the arms all the way back. You're going to bring the feet in, you're going to come into relaxation position now. So find your nice neutral position. So two hip bones even. You've got your little space in your low back. Soles of the feet are on the mat. We're just going to come into a little curl up. So building strength, hands behind the head. Let the elbows lengthen out. So you're nice and open. Let the shoulders open, collarbones nice and wide. Ankles in line with your sit bones. We're going to take a little breath in on the exhale chin to chest and you're just going to roll the spine up piece by piece look to the pubic bone or look in between your knees your legs and then lengthen and roll all the way back down good breathing in curl up exhale curl back down so you're just looking to get tips of the shoulder blades whilst keeping nice and neutral exhale Down. Good. On this one, you're going to curl up. You're going to hold that position there and you're going to stack the knees. Hold it. Leg down. Other leg down. And then lengthen the spine all the way back down. Good. Three just like that. We're going to lift the opposite leg first. So we're just alternating our legs. Breathing in. Exhale. Scoop. Hold. Other leg. Draw those abs down. Stabilize. Yay. Feel the core down, good. Two more, exhale. Opposite leg. Nice and wide through the elbows. I think we've got one more, good. Hold that connection, sliding the ribs down. Always so much to think about. Last one, exhale. I think we're this way, good. Bring the inner thighs together, press them gently. Bring the arms down to the side. We're just gonna take the 100. So pump in the arms. It's handy, I can use the beat of the music. So try and keep in the curl up. If you want, you can press the legs away. So draw the abs down, good. Stick with it guys, it's Friday, you can do it. So try breathing, in for two, out for two. Whew. Last five, four, three, two, last one, good. Legs in, head down, arms down, feet down, one at a time. Woo. So good. Beautiful work. From there, just gonna roll onto our side. Set yourself up for a little side lying. We're just gonna work our um, leg in circles. So underneath leg, 
chair position, or you can have it long or tucked underneath you. I'm gonna go chair position. Lengthen the leg away, find your nice long line down the side of the body, draw those abdominals down, relax the jaw and shoulder, a little lift in the, in the underneath waist and into your circles. Lift in two, three, four, five, join those abs in and down, good. Other way, one, two, three, four, last one, good. Five, beautiful, bring that leg back in. Screw around to the other side, same thing. So you can lie long like this if it's more comfortable. Top leg in a position that's good for you. Lengthen that other leg away, softly point the toes. Little lift here. So the more you lengthen away, the more you'll get your little lift. It's nice, good. Draw those abs in, always connecting to the abs. Last one. Go and think, I might have done an extra one there, good. Other way, talking too much. One, two, three, four, five. Good leg and beautiful. Come back onto your back. We're just gonna do a little flex of the ankle, flex and point. So you just fold one knee over your hip and then you bring up the toes up to where you can see it and you're just gonna point, flex your toes. Good. So hands on the back of the thigh and you can press your, try and relax your back of your leg into your hands. Chin in line with breastbone, good. And then we're gonna swap legs, so stacking knee, extend the knee, so you can see the toes. And a little point and flex through your ankles. Keep them nice and mobile. Good. Lovely. Color resting. Good, ah, uh, last one here. A little bend, good. Bring the legs together, take a little rock from side to side. Ooh, last little bit of work now. We're gonna come on to lie on our front, do a little bit of work on our front, and then I uh, think it's the weekend. Good, so we're gonna do dart. So dart is a lovely one again for that nice long spine. Feet are, soles of the feet, oh no, hip, toes are turned in. Sorry, getting mixed up. So we are in an internal rotation from our hip. So toes turn in for this one, heels turn out. Our hands are behind us, draw the shoulders down the back and turn the palms to face up. And then your head, your forehead just resting down on the mat. So you're just allowing to kind of um, open up and surrender to gravity. So your shoulders will roll forward, just breathe normally. And then for this move, you bring your legs to parallel. So you rotate them to parallel. You rotate the shoulders open, the hands, uh, the palms of the hands into face the side body. Uh, and at the same time, you just extend up through the crown of the head. Draw the shoulders down the back. So it's called dart, squeeze your inner thighs. You're meant to kind of look like a dart shooting through the air. Of course you do, good. Right, we're going for it. Breathing in, exhale, draw those abs away from the mat. You can send your pubic bone down and then rotate everything to the center. Head, neck, good. And then release down. Let's do two more. So really open through the shoulders, breathe in. Exhale. So nice. Shoulders down the back, squeeze your inner thighs. And relax down. Good, last one, breathing in. Exhale. Lift in. So draw the hands down, nice big dart, squeeze the inner thighs. Lift the abs away from the floor. And then just open and release down. Good. From there, hands to the shoulders, press your bum back to your heels. Take a little child's pose from there. Rest position. Breathe into the ribs. In and out. Good. Walk your hands back in, bring the knees together, release back your spine. And we are ready for the weekend. Um, whatever you are up to, I hope you crawl over. I hope you have a sensational one. Um, 
more feel good Fridays coming up uh, 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 next week, uh, I guess. Um, have a great weekend, guys. Take care.